Hello and welcome to the in news series of Drishti IAS. I am Pooja Devedi. Now, as we discussed how Xi Jinping becomes the core of the communist Chinese Communist Party, the mysterious exit of the former president of China, Hu Jintao, has raised concerns and eyebrows. Why was he made to exit? What was the reason behind it? Is Xi Jinping behind his exit? This is the biggest question of the hour. Let us move ahead and talk about this only from the perspective of GS Mains paper second. This is important. Not very much from the perspective of prelims, but facts are important. We never know what can be asked. The news Party Congress, Communist Party Congress of China, that was the 20th in line. Key developments at this particular Party Congress, as well as who is Hu Jinda, what happened with him and why are the developments that we saw currently is kind of worrisome. We will also talk about the impacts of the mysterious exit of Hu Jinda as we do not have any official records as of why he was made to exit. So we will talk about that only. And I have also covered Xi Jinping being at the core of the Communist Party of China in one of our series. I will attach the uh, the link of it in the description you can see it over there first see that then come to this because everything is explained with in a very comprehensive manner what is the politburo what is the party congress everything okay so why is everyone talking about hu jintao china's former president as he was made to exit apparently forcibly when marshals escorted him out of the great hall that is why it is important for us to understand why all this happened and the concerns are obvious because that was done in the public view when every camera was at Xi Jinping, Hu Jintao was seated to his left. He was made to leave at that moment. Moving ahead, let us talk about the party congress. October 22nd was the conclusion of the party congress at the Great Hall of the People at Beijing. Xi Jinping presided over the conclusion. It elected a new CPC Central Committee, a new Central Commission for Discipline and Inspection, and many other resolutions were passed, including the resolution on the revised constitution of the Communist Party of China. This Congress, it urged the whole party, the entire military, the People's Liberation Army, Chinese people of all ethnic groups to stay closely rallied. And it also put Xi Jinping at the core of the Communist Party of China. We will discuss all about this. Moving ahead, let's talk about the key developments. There are certain developments that are very unconventional. Not as unconventional as Xi Jinping's becoming the president for the third term, which has never been seen before by convention. Only two times a person can serve as a president and also he exceeds the age limit which is stipulated for being uh, for remaining in power so it's very unconventional for xi jinping and also the new 18 has been announced xi jinping has announced six men li qiang zhao leji wang huning saiki ding zizhuang and li xi to stand alongside him as the member of the politburo standing committee this has been discussed in a, one of our segments do see it it's in this description box only and the 24th member Politburo, which makes the decision, it is the top decision making body. It has, for the first time ever in the last 25 years, there are no women. This is a stark reality of China right now. No women representatives. Just look at the, look at the quality of Politburo in terms of representation. It's only men. So discrimination is also at an all time high. Officials have been removed. Very important officials. We also can talk about Hu Chunhua. He was a potential candidate. He was 59 years of age, a potential candidate to become the top leader in China, but he was removed. And the former Xinjiang party secretary Chen Kuangua is also missing from the Central Committee roster. We can see that there is a pattern that has been developed. Xi Jinping trying to remove all those who might oppose him in the later stage. There are also no clear successes with respect to who is going to sh succeed Xi Jinping. That shows that Xi Jinping is not going anywhere. There can also be a fourth term. Apart from that, there is the fallout over Hu Jintao, who was the former 
president before Xi Jinping came into the picture. He was unexpectedly led out of the room during the closing ceremony of the party congress. It was seen that he was hesitant. He also said something to Xi Jinping as he was escorted out. Xi Jinping was seen nodding. Moving ahead, let's talk about Hu Jintao. Hu Jintao served as the president of the People's Republic of China from 2003 to 2013. He was also the general secretary of CCP, Chinese Communist Party, from 2002 to 2012. He stepped down as the leader of the CCP in 2012 and Hu Jintao and Xi Jinping. Hu Jintao and Xi Jinping, they represent different factions in the CCP and it as Xi Jinping does not want internal, you can say, opposition to his position. It might be possible that he was the reason Hu Jintao was escorted out. Why this is pretty worrisome? Because first of all, what happened as we see, when it could have been done privately by his absence, Hu Jintao was sitting to the left of the President Xi Jinping and President Xi Jinping had all cameras on him. Every eye was on Xi Jinping. Every camera was on Xi Jinping. Media was allowed to enter and after that only uh, Hu Jintao was escorted out by the marshal. Because it was in the public eye, that raises concern. It, is, it was pretty orchestrated, scripted, we can say. Factionalism, because there is a factionalism, there is a stint of factionalism between him, Hu Jintao, and the president, Xi Jinping, it could be a reason that president does not want any sort of internal opposition making way for his unchallenged reign, we can say almost. Now, he is who is the leader of the group called Tuan Pai or Populist, which has its base in the Communist Youth League background. And if we talk more about it, then we can know that ever since she came to power, his group of princelings or the children of the revolutionaries, they have marginalized every other group in the party, such as the faction of Hu and also Shanghai Gang, which is of Jiang Zemin. So, marginalization is occurring because of that there is no opposition and Xi Jinping can remain in power as long as he wants to. After that, two other senior leaders of the Tuan Pai group were also dropped from CCP Central Committee. So, there is no representation of the opposition. Moving ahead, if we talk more about it, reasons. First reason, as a news agency of China on Twitter, China, Twitter is banned in China. But a news agency said on Twitter that it might be possible. No, not might, but it is definitely possible because uh, was possible, made possible because of the health concerns of Hu Jintao. Certain videos of him were showing that he was not as good as in the pink of his health as he was earlier and it might be a concern to the party and that is why he was led out. Because of the unexpected COVID positive results that came after he was tested, it could also be another reason. But this does not seem to be it because it was pretty in the eyes of the media and there are no official statement with respect to why he was removed. That is the concern. The biggest reason that is being alleged by the West media, Western media, is that President Xi himself did not want any kind of opposition and that is why it was expected that in the later stages, Hu Jintao could have been opposed to him in the long run and that is why he was removed by the president only. Moving ahead, let's talk about the impacts of it. Now, whenever we are talking about authoritarianism, we must know that democracies, are less warlike if we compare them to authoritarian regime. We can also look at the example of Russia. Authoritarian regimes always are revolving around one person and if that one person, right, like she right now, is surrounded by yes men, there is less chances of him making democratic decisions and that causes an ill omen for Taiwan. Taiwan is soon to be invaded, according to some analysts, if she remains in power and the democratic situation in his own party is nil. Apart from that, for the people who live in such regimes, there is a less freer world and also harm to civilian rights. We all know about civilian rights in China. 
global distortion occurs if we look at our example if we are surrounded by we can see an apparent military government in pakistan and an authoritarian regime like mindedness for the betterment of the region is less likely and that is what is happening right now this you can say the schism between democratic regime authoritarian regime military regime is the main cause where we do not see the rise of asia moving ahead let us talk about our question for today consider the following statements with respect to global state of democracy report 2021 sweden has topped the list in the hdi and the ldi beg your pardon uh, india was ranked 91st in the ldi we have to select the correct statement or statements so answer this i will take your names in the next segment thank you so much for watching